Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today a friend had asked me about something in terms of land gradient. He was wanting to build a house, design a house on ground that is not flat, so he wanted to build it in SketchUp. So, it's not that hard actually. It kind of and this is what we're going to be trying to do today. We'll be trying to make a land gradient, a house sitting on a land gradient. Hopefully this will go quick. And you wonder how it, uh, it's done in this program, right? Well, a lot of times when architects would use this program, what they would do is they would just, you know, take one side, one side of the lot, you know, and subtract it from the... Um, other end of the lot in terms of elevation and then they'll just get a basic you know a basic slope from one end to the other and then build the design on that because you know I mean you gotta be quick when you're an architect obviously or you know other times you know you go to the GIS websites of your city might have a GIS website where you can find information on a lot where you can find general contours of the lot Usually in an architectural view, each contour is by one foot in elevation difference. So we'll try a sample here. You see what I have is a 100 by 50 foot lot. And theoretically I want to build on this lot. And of course right now it's a flat lot, but from satellite view it appears flat. But when you go into real view, when you go into real life, or whatever, you'll see that it will slope. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and draw... What you'll do is you'll basically pick where the contours are. Depends on what your map looks like. And you'll just draw on those lines according to using your engineering scale. And you want to do it loose because you don't want to do like all the little details. Because when I'll show you later is you'll be at this all day. So, what you'll do is... You'll just draw lines generally where contours would be. Give it that nice little slope. And by the way, this is really, it looks really cool. I mean, this is a simple sample, and that does too, but. Um, and yeah, just. And let's just say on our map we saw this. And this is a lot of this is what a lot of land surveyors do. You know those guys with the fancy tripods. I'm actually in that class, by the way. Guys with the fancy tripods and stuff doing land measurements. So we got this out of the way. Now what we want to do is we want to extrude this each by a foot. Because each contour is a foot up. So you got a little slope right there. Now, as an architect, a lot of times when architects would, you go ahead and use this. They'll just leave it this way. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's totally fine. It's doable, and actually, it's really quick because just say you have your building. I'm gonna make a copy of it here because I want to use that other one for another example. And um, they'll use what a, you'll take coordinates where the building is supposed to be according to the plans. So let's just say our building is here. A uh, floor plan, you know, you'll just draw it as a regular floor plan. And then what you'll do is you'll just extrude it downward. However, I already got the plan drawn, so. Um, this is what it's going to look like. See, it's kind of got its foundation. It's just sitting there on the grade. Or, I mean, if your building is longer, um, it will be... It would take up more or so contours, depending on the grade of the land. But, I mean, I decided to put it on one contour just to give you the idea. So, but right now it's just a little cabin. 
And then from there, you know, you can just make your steps accordingly, like, because obviously you don't want to jump, have to climb up two feet to get to the front door. You just want to step up, you know. You got, like, you know, like four steps there. But, you know, anyway. But if you're, like, you know, kind of like me, and you know, you're not really for doing it for an architectural purpose per se. Kind of just want to make it finished because this looks very unfinished. Um, just kind of... No, actually, don't erase. Don't erase the edges. I will erase that, though. What I would do is... I would go in between here and just go ahead and start erasing these lines. And this is why he wanted to keep it simple. As simple as you could. Because what you're going to do is... You're just going to go ahead and start linking these lines on the edges here. You're going to draw the grade, average grades. And usually whenever you're in an office and you're getting these kinds of things, a lot of the times they would have surveyors come out and um, analyze this. So then what you'll be getting are contours. And usually when you're making planes, what you'll do is you'll just make triangles to close the planes. Because the idea is, you know, you want planes. Well, it's kind of like a mattress, doesn't it? Let's go to mattress first. Mattress farm, where it's easy to get a great night's sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you get the idea, don't you? I know you did. You're smart. You're smart individuals. Good thing. And let's say it's flat on top. So now what we want to do is we want to get rid of some of these lines. So, But we don't want to get rid of them. We just want to hide them. We'll say this is the street over here. Just select what's within your space. And then right click, soften smooth edges. Soften edges, yes. Don't always do every one of them. So just do it again and again. Sometimes you'll just have to go and do it yourself. Which this is why I may I said make it simple so then you wouldn't be you wouldn't be doing this all day. And the reason why I say soften and not hide is because well what you want to do is you want to look be able to want to look like it's a flowing piece of land. So what you'll do is you'll take your building drawing and put it on different coordinates on where you want it in your in your land, you know. We'll say this is 60 feet here, down the line, and 10 feet over. Yeah. And then you see it's just hovering above. You can always adjust how high or how low you want it, obviously. We'll bring that down a foot. And make sure your building component or is a group or a component. 
just so it's easy to work with right now. And again, because I already have the plan, and I, uh, I'll just make a basic drawing of it with rectangles. Now, as an architect, you don't want to do anything else besides this, because, I mean, if you decide to, like, I don't know, cut things away, and you have, find you have to change them later, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're just modeling and stuff, I'll just go intersect faces with model, which that did something I didn't want it to, so we will fix that right now. Then I'll just generally leave it hanging out like that. I know it doesn't look that awesome, but what can I say? And then you just cut away the land that's dividing it. Now, if you really wanted to go further, I would you would explode this. And then just get rid of whatever's around it. Like that. To clean up the model. But it's really up to you. But, I mean, if you're an architect... You wouldn't do this. You wouldn't go that far. And, you know, I mean, then you just bring up the walls up and down as usual. Just say eight foot walls. And you can even bring them down, too. You know, you can bring them down like four feet. Because what's going on is some houses are bermed in. This is called a berm right here. See what's highlighted? It's underground, you know, a little bit. But that's actually, but you know, and this is the way you make berms. Just say that this was an outdoor patio. I'm just showing you what you could do with this stuff. See? You know, it looks just like that. Because I'll show you here. See, it kind of comes up to, like, basement-like windows on one side. Sorry about that. Then, but on the other, you got all this floor wall space down here. That's what a berm is. So, yeah. But, likewise, I mean, just a bunch of things you can do. And other things, you know, I mean, put doors in, like, a, like you do regularly. And depending on how high your door or lo how low your door is, can be either above ground or underground, and that will determine, like, say I need some steps here, you know. I'd say a good step height is six inches, then a good out width is like, you know, could be 11 inches or even a foot, your choice. But then you, you would know exactly how, how much to do. There you go. And one other thing, say you want to color your land easy. Just pick your color from your chooser and color it. The reason why you hit it first is so you can just color it once. Ain't that cool? That is cool. And then coloring your house, obviously, or other building, obviously that's the same principle. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Alright, because there will be more to come. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.